tell me when we're rolling and then we can get... Oh, we're rolling now. Hi, everyone. Welcome. There's so much happening in Android right now. So we're kicking off the Google I.O. season with what you've all been waiting for, the Android updates. This is the Android Show, I.O. edition. Of course, Android goes way beyond phones, powering some of the most important devices in your life. Watches, tablets, TVs, and so much more. And we're making all of them work better together. So it's simple to pair, cast, and share across Android. Android 16 has a whole new look and feel. It's the biggest redesign in years, and we're gonna walk through all of it. Then we'll show you how we're bringing industry-leading smarts to all of your devices with Google Gemini, so you have a helpful assistant wherever you need it most. Finally, we've got some powerful new security features to help you fight scammers. Android's beautiful new design is flexible and customizable to reflect your personality and style. That's always been one of the best parts about Android. Everyone's different, so why should every phone look the same? With that in mind, I'm excited to announce the biggest evolution of our design language in years. We call it Material 3 Expressive. It's coming to Android, Wear, and all of your favorite Google apps on these devices later this year. It's a UI tailored for you with colors, fonts, and animations that you can personalize to evoke just the feeling you want. Take a look. Create a playlist for a 10 minute mile run. Android is getting more personal, too. It's got updated color themes, responsive components, and emphasized typography, even across your favorite Google apps like Google Photos, Fitbit, and Gmail. Live Updates comes in to highlight what you need to know so you can stay focused about what you care about. Maybe you and your friends are ordering Uber Eats for a night in. While you wait, no need to obsessively open your phone to check for updates. You can put the phone on the table, focus on your conversation, and still get glanceable live updates to track your order delivery. The refined home screen grid makes all new widgets and icons line up just right. You get more customizable quick settings, which lets you pack in those controls you use most. We also subtly blur the background to provide a sense of depth, so you can stay in context when you're navigating your phone. And it's really performant, thanks to some clever computation behind the scenes. So you'll get a beautiful UI without draining your battery. We're working hard with our partners to bring Material 3 expressive design to life on Android 16 devices. You'll see it first on Pixel. Wear OS 6, arriving later this year, will deliver the most expressive version of Wear OS yet. Notice how every element, from buttons to notifications, embrace the circular screen. Corners are perfectly rounded, creating a softer, more approachable feel that matches the physical shape of the device. Lists now transform as you scroll, giving a sense of depth that makes information more accessible. Daily experiences like the pin pad and media controls have been completely refreshed with fluid animations and responsive feedback. And those smooth transitions you love on your phone are also coming to your watch. The new UI is stunning. And my favorite thing about the Wear OS 6 updates is that you don't need to compromise battery for beauty. Thanks to platform optimizations, watches updating to Wear OS 6 can see up to 10% battery improvement. Over the past couple of years, we've completely reimagined Android with Gemini right at the center. It isn't just an app like on some other phones. It's a powerful assistant, just one press away, helping you get things done across your entire phone experience, whatever's on your mind. And hey, you know those times when you need help with something and it's way easier to show someone? Yeah, you can actually do that now with Gemini Live. Share what's going on in your screen or even what you see on your camera. And Gemini can give you answers, fashion advice, or a nice summary when you're just short on time. I got to show you this one in action. So I got this super long call sheet email this morning. Basically, all the details on the Android show prep, like hair, makeup, rehearsal timing, the works. 
Now, I could have and should have gone through it myself, but I have Gemini here to help. I'll just hold the side button, click on Share Screen with Live, and I can scroll through this massive wall of text so Gemini can take a look on my behalf. And I can ask what really matters. Uh, what time do I finally get to eat lunch? Okay, I can help you with that. It looks like lunch is scheduled for 1 p.m. in the Google cafeteria, and it's a buffet. Is there anything else I can help you find in this email? And, of course, privacy is super important here. You're always in control from turning sharing on, putting Gemini on hold, or ending the chat at any time. And, by the way, these amazing Gemini Live features are available for Android users right now. No advanced subscription needed. We're expanding Gemini way beyond phones because a truly smart and helpful assistant should be there with you across all your devices. In the coming months, we're bringing Gemini to your watch on Wear OS. So when I'm at the locker room in the gym and I've already put my phone away, I can still set a reminder for myself like, remember I'm using Locker 43 today. And Gemini can understand me even when I'm in the middle of exercising. So I can ask, where's the restaurant Emily emailed about for tonight? And there it is. I didn't even need to pause my workout. Gemini is also coming to Cars, starting with Android Auto in the upcoming months, followed by Cars with Google built-in. Gemini can help me find a charger that's on the way to the post office that's also near a park so that I can go for a walk while my car is charging. Here are some vehicle charging stations near Vasona Park. And rather than just reading my messages, Gemini can summarize them. Your mom said she wants to hang out this Saturday, since the weather will be nice. Give me a quick rundown of the news today, but leave out sports. Here's a quick rundown of some of the top news headlines today. Tuesday, May 13th, 2025. Later this year, Gemini capabilities are coming to your TV too. With Gemini on Google TV, I can ask for action movies that are age appropriate for my kids and get the best recommendations. Later this year, Gemini is also coming to Android XR. As you might have heard, Google and Samsung are collaborating on Android XR, a new platform for extended reality devices. Imagine Gemini helping you plan a vacation by surrounding you with videos, maps, and local tips, creating an entire itinerary in minutes within a rich, immersive experience. Android has a long history of delivering strong protections to keep you and your devices safe. And soon, we're expanding to even more. Now, I love to travel, so I'm really excited about July and Mokobara rolling out embedded tracking for luggage. But if you have your own tags, we're partnering with major airlines around the world so you can share your tag's location directly with the airline for faster recovery of lost bag. Meet FindHub. Starting today, I could check Find Hub to see if my loved ones got home safe and share my location during a night out, all while still keeping track of my valuable tagged items in a single unified spound. And later this year, satellite connectivity is coming to Find Hub, ensuring you stay safe and can get in touch with friends and family in emergency situations when you don't have cell service. So watch out for updates coming to your Pixel devices starting next month with Samsung and many others this summer. But if you can't wait, join our beta program for early access.